Hello folks and welcome. So today's video I have is Kubuntu, K-U-B-U-N-T-U, Plasma Desktop. I'm going to give you a tour and overview. And um, anyways, I'm going to first start off with uh, DistroWatch. And uh, before I get going, just wanted to make, uh, make you aware of a couple things. None of my videos on my YouTube channel are under two minutes. However, they all contain chapters and timelines. I do encourage that you subscribe if, um, if you are wanting to see some extra videos on different subjects. Also, I recommend that you read my bot section and one of the comments that I make is Linux is for everyone or every age. And then uh, you may want to check out my community tab also at the same time. Anyway, so let's open up DistroWatch and find out more information about this distribution. Let me resize this on the fly. That may be too small and find that distribution is number 30 on DistroWatch. You can also get this link if you don't uh, have DistroWatch bookmarked. You can also uh, get that on my YouTube site. Let me resize this for you. Uh, hopefully that is big enough. So Kubuntu is a Debian and Ubuntu based system out of the Isle of Man. And they only offer one desktop, which is KDE Plasma. They do off offer live medium, which means you can test drive it. And here's their website right here. So kubuntu.org. Other than that, we're going to close. Now, uh, right clicking on your desktop, and this is the standard wallpaper. You have configure wallpaper, and these are the options as far as wallpaper is concerned. And I will go through some of this fairly quickly. Okay, so you got wallpaper, mouse actions, location, icons, filter, and abound. You have configured displays. What am I currently running in today? 1920 by 1080. This is capable of doing 4K. And it looks very nice in 4K. However, I chose this just so I can upload this video a little bit faster to YouTube. So you can create new something. That would be folders, text files, HTML files, uh, and anything to do with LibreOffice Writer. And link to location, uh, there's another name I have for that. And URL, or Universal Resource Locators. I can create web-based icons using this. If there's any interest in that, uh, leave me a note. All right, we can add widgets, widgets, toys, simple stuff like clocks. And I will uh, enter edit mode and resize this puppy to something huge and then close that. So you can do st silly stuff like that. And you can also click on this clock to get a calendar, that kind of thing. I'm going to remove that now. So continuing on, uh, again, we can do all kinds of things here with, uh, with this right clicking on the screen, inc including leaving. Okay, my user today is Mr. Bob. Where do I begin? How about the menu itself? There's the icon for the application launcher. Mr. Bob is our user for today. We have a search field. We have a little uh, mini uh, area where we can do a lot of changes. Uh, if you've seen any of my custom videos from the years past, you know I can do custom icons, and this is also what you can do rather easily in case you wanted to change that. All right, let's move along and talk about the favorites menu. Now, I only added simple screen recorder to this distribution for this video. So Firefox is your browser. Your Discover Software Center is where you get your software from. And uh, this is Discover. And under settings, this is where the stuff is coming from, the repositories. Okay, so most of the stuff you can see has Ubuntu on it. Pretty simple stuff. You can have categories or you can do, do searches. And pretty simple to install here. Or if you're looking for, um, I don't know, I'll just use this one here. This is a pretty cool feature anyways. For your graphical users, uh, if you want uh, System information, this one is made by Hard Info, and you can install that through here or here, doesn't matter. So that's the Discover Center. Let me move on, and uh, I apologize for that noise. I'm gonna turn my phone off and continue. So you, you have your uh, standard system settings, and uh, there's the information about the uh, Kubuntu distribution. And again, I, I think I already pointed out that I'm filming in uh, 1080 today. Other than that, these are all pretty much standard stuff. Uh, my advice is anytime you make changes to your appearance on global themes or etc., is always make screenshots. Now, moving along, 
we have um, Dolphin, your file manager. Let me open that up. And uh, you can do split panes if you're transferring files back and forth. You can also resize the icons my way, or you can use it the old fashioned way. All I'm doing is holding down my control key on my keyboard and using my computer mouse. If you uh, have a touchpad, that's a little different. But uh, I'm using a standard USB computer mouse with a squirrel wheel on it to resize icons. So, uh, you know, you can bring in all kinds of things and um, set as wallpaper and so forth and so on. Okay, so I'm just resizing icons for you. Anyways, home folder. Um, essentially, you get everything in there. I added this folder here, so everything else is standard. Okay, I'm going to close this and continue. Console, uh, your text editor, Kate. And I'm going to skip over all apps and go to games category. So this is what comes installed on this particular distribution as it stands. And there are, uh, I think there's two or three different flavors of the Plasma desktop. I'm using the LTS, a long-term support edition. All right, you'll see that when you start downloading this. So uh, these are just games, as I pointed out. Under graphics, you have these options. You can, of course, go to the uh, software store and uh, software center down here at the bottom. Uh, discover software center and install all kinds of things, including like, uh, like GIMP, for instance. That's like Photoshop. So internet, we have the Firefox web browser, and you, of course, can install others. And you have an email client down here called Thunderbird. Other than that, you can see the rest of the stuff that's in here. Multimedia, I added simple screen recorder. Uh, everything else came installed. Under Office, it looks like a full Libre Office, and also an Ocular uh, Document Viewer. I've been told I don't use uh, Libre Office heavily, but I do use the writer part uh, to write letters. And I kind of like it, uh, but I've been told by others that LibreOffice is fully compatible with Microsoft Office. The cool thing about uh, LibreOffice, it's free, unlike uh, Microsoft Office, you have to pay for it. All right, moving along, we have, um, since I'm using an NVIDIA graphics card today, we have an N uh, NVIDIA server settings. Uh, and then uh, some other stuff in here, and then system. Another bunch of shortcuts to not only the software center, but your file manager, Dolphin. Another thing for info center, which has other information. Again, I'm just trying to make this video a little bit faster. I could click that open and show you all that, but I think uh, once you get this installed yourself, if you decide to install it, uh, you can discover that uh, pretty rather easily. There's also a Muon package manager in here. Might as well open that one up. Okay, so you have um, installation keys here. And again, what are we talking about here? Um, most of this stuff is coming from Conical. Okay, jammy jellyfish in this case. It's an interesting word. Jellyfish, jammy, jammy. All right, where do I leave off? Um, settings. All right, I left off at uh, the Muon Package Manager. Right, anyways, I'm just going to scroll to the bottom here. There's a couple of X terms for uh, some of you folks that uh, like to use uh, this kind of stuff. That's been around for years. Uh, anyways, um, these are some of the other ones, and here's your screenshot utility. I don't know if you heard what I said earlier. Anytime you make system changes to your machine where it has numbers and stuff, I always recommend screenshots. And the screenshot tool is pretty easy to use. Whatever you have open, you can do a full screen, rectangular or active window. And then you take the screenshot and save it. Just, just a recommendation. A lot of people always overlook screenshots. And then they regret it later on after they make changes. All right, utilities. I think I left with, uh, yes I did. Um, so yeah, I left it here. So text info viewer and help, KDE Help Center. Moving across here, uh, we have application, shortcut to places. Um, also KRunner, you may want to um, investigate that for running applications. You have your um, sleep, restart, shutdown, and one more. Lock and log out and switch user. Okay, moving across from on the panel bar itself, we have a shortcut to system settings. We have a shortcut to the Discover Software Center. 
the Dolphin file manager, Firefox web browser. That's uh, my simple screen recorder that needs to be here while I'm recording. And then I'll start on the very right hand side. Maybe my subscription key is covering part of it, but you have minimize all windows is that box. You have your, um, your time and date thing. You can right click on it and do some other options. You can also click on the thing and you get a calendar and click on it again to close. Multifunction information, status information keys, that kind of thing is underneath that. Your wireless thing, your microphone thing in my case, Bluetooth thing, volume thing, and a system a notification helper thing. Okay, so I, I need to address some a couple of language supports uh, other than that. Uh, this is pretty much up to date as of this date. So there you have it, folks. A short and sweet overview and uh, tour of Kubuntu Plasma Desktop. Thank you for watching.